powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the Noon News from Montana's News Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on your Monday. I'm Janelle Slade. Well, we have breaking news this noon. COVID-19 has claimed two more lives here in Montana. The death toll up to four victims so far. The latest two cases out of Toole County along the High Line. At last official count, Montana confirms at least 171 cases. That's a jump of 10 overnight. More than 4,000 people have been tested, but health officials expect that number to grow significantly. Gallatin County added at least five new cases, growing its total to 67, the most in the state by far. Yellowstone County comes in second with the most cases at 26. As for the latest two deaths out of Toole County. In a Facebook post, Blair Tomshek, a nurse with the Toole County Health Department, says that health authorities are working with neighboring counties to respond to this COVID-19. Now, Governor Steve Bullock's administration says it's aware of the concerns regarding impacts to the senior community in that county. Bullock today issued this following statement. Losing two more Montanans to COVID-19 is a blow to our statewide community. Today's news is a heartbreaking reminder to us all that we must continue to do everything we can to slow the spread of this disease. Montanans in every corner of our state are keeping the family and friends of these Montanans in our hearts. Well, across the nation, nearly 145,000 people have tested positive for coronavirus, a jump of about 2,000 since even this morning. The numbers of deaths going up by dozens, now well over 2,500. This week marks the end of the White House 15-day initiative to slow the spread of the virus. But yesterday, President Trump announced he's extending the guidelines on social distancing until the end of April. Now, in response to Governor Bullock's stay-at-home order, the city of Helena has changed its services to protect staff and the community. Take a look. In a press relief, the city will close the Bill Roberts Golf Course and Civic Center until April 10th. City parks and open lands will remain open, but the playground equipment in those areas will be closed. Utility customer services will no longer be open for in-person services. To make a utility payment in the Helena area, the city is encouraging you to make payments over the phone or online. There's also a drop box. There's several drop box locations around the city. Now, the city says water will not be shut off. If there is non-payment, you are encouraged to call the city if there are any issues with your payment. Well, Montana is ranked in the top 10 for the state's least likely to need tax relief in 2020. To determine which states would be least likely to need tax relief, Consumer Affairs factored in information about the tax rates in each state. One reason our state is not likely is because Montana's highest income tax rate of more than 6% matches the middle bracket. Many Americans are wondering when they can expect their stimulus checks. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin finally answered that question yesterday on Face the Nation. We expect that within three weeks uh, that people who have direct deposit with information with us will see those direct deposit in their bank accounts and we will create a web-based system for people where we don't have their direct deposit. They can upload it so that they can get the money immediately as opposed to checks in the mail. Under the stimulus, individuals will receive up to $1,200. Couples will receive up to $2,400 plus another $500 per child. People making over $75,000 a year will see less money. Mnuchin says his number one goal is getting American workers and companies the money they need to get through the next eight to ten weeks. Well, it's now time to check in on the weather scene. Rob Griggs is in the Weather Center today and at least you have some good news for today. Well, yeah, Janelle, we've got one last day of some nice weather pretty much from western to eastern Montana, although right now a cold front already moving into portions of extreme western Montana. Let's take a look at what's happening across the Pacific Northwest. You can see the influence of that system right from Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, all the way into northwestern Montana. Still central and eastern Montana holding its own, but we do have plenty of watches and warnings. A lot of paint on the board. We'll be talking about what that means for northwest Montana and the western third of the state and how that's going to be migrating our direction, but I can give you a little bit of a hint. Here's a look at snowfall estimates. This doesn't give numbers, it just gives more of the pattern and the depth as you can see we advance this forecast model all the way through about midday Thursday. Looks like much of Montana, save the Northeast, will be getting some snow. The complete forecast in just a little bit, Janelle. All right, thanks, Rob. Well, we have more ahead on your statewide new news with heightened sensitivity to social distancing, how local volunteers have had to get creative in how they're helping the community. 
The time is 12.05, but first Rob Griggs is in next with your statewide weather forecast.